Sarah Uselmann is a Canadian artist and she lives, uh, she recently moved quite far north, basically in the middle of nowhere in Saskatchewan, and she started to research Uh, communities who have emigrated there from Europe or also from other places over the centuries and she looked at um, their kind of uh, specialities of like you know what they brought with them when they came there or what what their concerns were so in a way it's like a anthropology and archaeology she's interested in um, and she works very much with the landscape there she does walks and she goes on walks and does her own little excavations and sees what things she finds and creates works with it. Some of the works in the show, you can see that. And some of the works in the show are based on um, local traditions of like, uh, for example, han handicraft, or um, there's one piece uh, which is based on a recipe of cement making from 200 years ago, where they didn't know which is uh, these these bricks there, where people didn't use um, cement, they used clay and linseed oil and things like that to build the huts where they would first stay. So all the works reference moments in the history of immigration, basically. And she puts it together into the show and um, kind of tries to make a coherent picture of the new landscape and situation where she finds herself in. The first excavation was in my backyard and then I just started excavating um, different places and finding things in the earth and working with those as materials. Um, and so Earth Radio, it expands the idea of um, a radio that's designed to pick up the Earth's electromagnetic frequencies and uh, using things that I've found in the earth, such as artifacts from various digs, as well as um, a garden potato. Um, it runs the circuit board of the radio through these objects to change the sound that comes out in the end. And it also um, plays on the idea of um, an assemblage in archaeology, which is when you find a whole bunch of things and you assume that they go together, So the Earth Radio um, plays into these ideas of past and future. So 2013, um, I chose this title because um, I wanted to take text out of the work and just leave all the objects and images for the viewers to decide what to make of it. And 2013 is a date, so it marks the date of the work. And you can think about the past and the future when you look at the objects. And um, it also plays into this culture of survivalism where some of the techniques of the work are taken from survivalist culture and um, yeah, the idea that um, everyone was thinking about that the, that the Mayan calendar came to an end in 2012 and that this is a new beginning. <laughs> 